not a lot of face creams have the all-round richness of dealing with all the skin issues that we're usually worried about like acne hyperpigmentation spots um, sunburn dull skin and also helping to brighten and lighten up the skin tone so this is one that has been highly requested on this channel and it's a luscious face cream with active um, powders so if you're interested in learning how to make this luscious luscious face cream definitely keep on watching <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Dekan, aka a Deco Po, aka Queen of DIYs. And I film um, lifestyle and skincare content, mostly skincare content, um, every week. So if that is your cup of tea, definitely subscribe to this channel for more videos and check out my other videos on this channel as well. So today we are going to be filming a much requested um, video, which is a video on the skin lightening face cream. It's been highly, highly requested on this channel. So yeah, without further rambling and further ado, let us jump right to the workspace. Let's show how this is done. So first for the ingredients we need for this, we need distilled water, 200 ml of distilled water, and also 50 grams of shea butter. And we'd also need 30 grams of emulsifying wax. This is to help bind the water and oils together. And also 30 grams of oil, the pineapple oil we made on this channel, if you remember, you can check that out. And also 20 grams of um, aloe vera gel. Um, next, we'll also need about 10 grams of vitamin E oil for this formula as well. This is a great antioxidant for the skin. Also, this sunblock oil, this is to help us combat with sun exposure and also a cosmetic preservative and also a container to store your product in when you're done. Now, moving on to our active powders, now we are going to use 2 grams of alpha abutin powder, also 2 grams of kojic acid powder. 1 gram of snow white powder it's called tower snow white powder and 1 gram of giga white powder last is also 1 gram of sepi white powder now these four powders which are the snow white powder giga white kojic acid and alpha apotein are water soluble and the uh, Sepi white powder is oil soluble what this means is that they dissolve in either oils or water so now in a bowl, I'm going to turn my shea butter and my um, e-wax as well and also the oils that we are supposed to use. So I'm just pouring my oil in and next that would go in would be my e-wax. So this is called the oil face. What we are trying to do, we are trying to melt this together. So I'm going to um, put this in the microwave for a couple seconds and allow it melt. You can use the double boiler method, which other way, which other way works for you. Um, you can definitely use that. So then moving on to our water, I'm going to add my aloe vera gel into our 200 grams of distilled water. This is called the water phase. So... Um, I'm also going to take this and warm it up a little bit when you're working with your um, Ingredients you need it to be warm especially for the emulsifying wax so that they can combine properly so out of the 200 ml of water I had taken out um, 10 ml of water to make our active powders So now the water is also warm now. I'm trying to make my active ingredients so now I'm going to add 2 grams which is about a tablespoon yeah a tablespoon of kojic acid powder alpha apotene powder the giga white powder and the snow white powder you would see me adding everything so now i'm just adding the kojic powder to the alpha apotene some people don't like to mix these ingredients together but i really don't find a problem mixing them together 
so now i'm going to add my giga white powder because the sepi white powder is oil soluble you would say and now i'm also going to add the towers snow white powder and that's one gram so now i'm combining these ingredients together because they are water soluble and next i am going to add water and allow to dissolve so right now i'm just adding two tablespoons of water okay i made it three three tablespoons of water and i'm stirring it until it dissolves properly the snow white powder takes a little bit of time to dissolve especially when you put them together like this so you have to actively work with it to make sure that it's dissolved properly so after a couple seconds of stirring it dissolves to a very very reasonable extent so now moving on to the sepi white powder I'm adding one gram and then I'm adding some drops of oil into it to until it covers the powder as you can see it has already dissolved in the oil I'm bringing it close so you guys can see properly so now in my mixing bowl I'm going to turn my water the remaining water which is about 190 ml now because I took out 10 ml and I'm adding the oil face also to it which is the emulsifying wax the shea butter and the oil so I'm putting that together and then I'm blending up immediately with my hand blender most of you always ask if you can use something else in place of the hand blender when it comes to making a cream you definitely need a hand blender I don't know what else you can use that would work well for doing this so you need a hand blender so I'm just making sure I mix that up properly it is important to blend and combine all your ingredients together to make a smooth product So now I am adding our active ingredients into it and notice that the color changes that is because the kojic acid and the snow white powder usually has a color when um, dissolved in water so do not be alarmed it's um, the color from the powder now I'm adding the sepi white powder And now I'm going to add some drops of um, vitamin E oil that made up for 10 grams and also the sunblock oil and then I'm blending up again to make sure that these ingredients combine properly next i'm adding one percent of cosmetic preservative this whole mixture gave me 300 grams of products so i'm adding one percent of cosmetic preservative so whatever size of products you're doing you add about one to maximum two percent of cosmetic preservative so the cosmetic preservative i used here was liquid jamal plus so I'm just using a spatula to um, take the products that are on the sides of the bowl to make sure that I put it together and combine it properly. Because sometimes some products can just be hanging around the sides of the bowl and if you don't do this, um, your products will have different consistency. So yeah, right now I'm just transferring our now face cream. As you can see, it is solidified into a thick face cream and yeah that is it we are done with our face cream it is luscious it is effective it is strong it has all the 
active ingredients needed for your skin to thrive and as you can see it was simple to make I believe I would like to believe once you get all your ingredients you can definitely get this done so yeah we have our beautiful face cream So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you learned a thing or two. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not and um, introduce somebody to my channel. If you know somebody that is like a skincare enthusiast, loves DIYs or owns a skincare business, just definitely plug them to my channel because I'm sure um, a lot of people would appreciate, a lot of your friends, family would appreciate my channel. So definitely plug them to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yourself, make sure you're subscribed because this is good content happening here and do not be part of those 90% of people that would come hit up a good video like this and not subscribe definitely subscribe I love you guys as always stay tuned for my next DIY is also one that has been highly requested you guys are gonna love you're going to love that one so definitely make sure your notification bell is turned on so you um, get notified every single time that I post a video and if you're subscribed already and your notification bell is not turned on check to make sure that it's turned on so you get notified so you'll be the first the vvip to know <laughs> when i post the video thank you so much i wish you a perfect lovely beautiful skin and i will see you in my next one